This video demonstrates the installation process of S5GC50 to 70K string inverter series. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. Appropriate space should be reserved around the inverter. Install the mounting bracket. After determining the installation position of the back hanging plate, fix the back hanging plate to the wall or the mounting bracket with fixing bolts. Tighten the bolt with the socket. Fix the four corners of the back plate in the same way. Mount the inverter. Align the inverter hook with the hole of the back hanging plate and then hang it in. Screw the two fixing screws included in the package into the inverter fixing holes at the bottom. Grounding cable connection. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. Tighten the nut after installing the OT terminal. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Connect the DC input cable. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. AC side connection. The AC cable can be used after crimping the OT terminal. Before connecting AC cables, please remove the terminal protective cover at the bottom of inverter. Take out the AC terminal cover. Rotate and unscrew the ceiling cap. Poke the ceiling cover open. Thread the AC cable into the AC terminal box. Unscrew the screws on the AC terminal. Tighten the nut after installing the OT terminal. Tighten the nut with an 8mm socket wrench. Close the junction box and tighten the screws on the junction box. Communication connection. If you choose Jinlong Soli's data logger, please connect it to the COM port at the bottom of the inverter. Power on debugging. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the AC circuit breaker first, then close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. After the self-check is complete, the screen will show waiting. After the local mandatory delay specified in the standard ends, the inverter will start normal operation. After watching this video, please refer to the product manual for full installation instructions.